Okay, this next one is a little bit more complicated. The bill at a restaurant is $31.20, including a 20% tip. So how much was the tip? Okay, so we know here that when we're calculating it, we get the ticket, so we have the meal, and then we add the tip, and that's going to equal the total. Well, if we went directly to find the tip, we would have to find 20% but of the meal. And we don't know what that is. And so this way we're going to have to figure out what the cost of the meal is and then go back and figure out what the tip is. So the meal is what we don't know. The tip is 20% of the meal. And we know that total is $31.20. So this is x plus 0.20x is 31.20. Well, these are like terms. This is an implied 1. So 1 plus 0.20 gives me 1.20x is equal to 31.20. And then I'll divide by 1.20. And what do I get for the meal? So 31.20 divided by 1.20. Oops. So x is 26, which, which is the meal. So the total minus the meal is the tip. So 3120 minus 26 gives us the tip, which is $5.20. Okay, all right, so an 18-foot beam <coughs> is cut into two pieces. One piece is two feet longer than the other. How long are the pieces? Okay, so here's my beam. And I know from the whole thing is 18 feet. Now, these two are not equal. One is longer than the other. Well, I'm going to call this one x, and this one is two feet longer than the other, so this is going to be x plus 2. So the two pieces equal 18 feet. Well, the two pieces are x and x plus 2 equals 18. I have an x. I have another x. So 2x plus 2 is 18. Subtract 2 from both sides. Let me do this over here. This gives me 2x is equal to 16 which gives me x is 8. So, if x is 8, then x plus 2 is 10. 8 plus 2 is 10. So, the two pieces, the two pieces are 8 feet and 10 feet. And I abbreviated because I ran out of room. Okay, the sum of two consecutive odd integers is 256. What are the integers? Okay, so I want to go back and think about what the odd consecutive odd integers. 
Well, they are x, x plus 2, x plus 4, and so on and so forth. So I'm only dealing with two of them. So that means I'm going to be looking at x and at x plus 2. And then it tells me the sum. So I know x plus x plus 2 is 256. All right, so I combine my like terms. I have an x, I have another x. So 2x plus 2 is equal to 256. Subtract 2 from both sides, I get 2x is equal to 254. When I divide by 2, I get that x is equal to 174. No, 176. No, 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 127. I've got my stuff all mixed up. But it says, what are the integers? So x is 127, and x plus 2, if I add 2 to that, is 129. So the integers are 127 and 129. Okay, it says the cost of printing t-shirts with the company logo is $11 per shirt plus a setup fee is $38. How many shirts can be printed? Okay, so, how many print can be printed? That tells me our variable is going to be the number of shirts. So let's see how we're going to figure out the cost of this. Okay, so we know that the printing plus the setup fee equals the cost. Well, the printing is $11 per sh shirt. So 11 times the number of shirts. The setup fee is 38. And the total cost is 291. So once I've got it set up, it's, it's fairly straightforward to solve. Okay, so I'm going to subtract 38 from both sides. And I get 11x is equal to 253. And when I divide both sides by 11, I get that x is equal to 23. So, they can produce 23 shirts for $291. Okay, the sale price of a pair of shoes is $96 after a 20% reduction. What was the original price of the shoes? So the original price of the shoe, this is going to be our variable. Uh, 
Okay, so how do I figure out the sale price of the shoe? Well, I'm going to take the original price minus the reduction equals the sale price. Well, the original price, this is what we don't know. The reduction is 20% of X, and we know the sale price is 96. So this is X minus 0.20X equals 96. These are like terms. I have 1x minus 0.20x, and that gives us 0.80x is equal to 96. Divide by 0.80, and I get that x is 120. Okay, I'm going to have to stop here because I have to take care of something real quick, but I'll be back for the last two problems in just a minute.